Three. Hi, good afternoon. Jeff Hale here with Halo Inc. Today we're going to show a quick improvement on um, doing some laser engraving on keychains. So these particular keychains that we have are leatherette keychains from JDS Industries. They have a slight bevel to them, and because of that slight bevel, this particular design that we're working on for the Marine Raider Foundation has some really small type. So you can see it's down here on the bottom. And so when we were using a consistent um, lasering setup for the entire thing, for the entire image, the foundation letters weren't coming out. They're too small. So we had to actually create two different patterns or two different um, paths for the laser. One to make the foundation a little bit darker so it would come out and then a little bit lighter on the rest of the logo so it wasn't overburnt, basically. So what we have here, our jig set up, we've got a 17 piece of acrylic in here, making it a little bit easier to get squared up instead of having to go all the way to the back. So we've got our jig set up. And the way we were doing before, as I said, is we would have two different paths. We had a tag path, so we would run the tag path. Okay, so you can see there that the foundation comes out nice and crisp the way we want it to. And then we'd have to come back Hit our list and hit the main path and can run the second path. So. so as you can tell, what we had here is we had some over-processing happening and excess motion happening and we looked, we wanted to fix. Well, what we realized is that with the Epilog software, that we can not only divide a file by vector versus engraved, but we can also separate a file by color. And so in the design, we actually just change the color of foundation. So that way we were able to set up two separate paths for the same image, which reduces the number of times that we have to do it. So what we're gonna do real quick here is we're gonna set one up and we'll look at the time difference. We're gonna start the timer with go. See, there's some waiting happening now. So now that the main path is done, the operator has to come back over here, go back to their list, hit the tag path, and bring the second path back. Which is about eight second engrave. And now we're done. So what's our timing? 49 seconds, 50, approximately 50 seconds on that. Thing. So now we're gonna try it with the new way where we go both paths in one. So reset and start. And done. Um.